so then on to phase four. Now, if you've watched my previous three episodes on phase one, two, and three, uh, this actually is one of the simplest phases and there's not too many mechanics. So what will happen is you'll get eight relics that will spawn on the floor and you either have one of two options. You can either complete all eight relics by the base standing or the person who's got Sonic targeting them standing inside of these uh, and then they will charge up and he will do a series of little specials so he'll sort of stun you and then summon some sort of purpley goldy goop from above and which you can run away from and then he moves on to the next one. Um, or during this you can also go into the dream realm and kill uh, a Rethdor, which is the sort of elf that's controlling his mind. Uh, they have 500k HP as you can see from that red bar and whatever you decide to do you can either kill him via phasing which I, we don't do yet. I, it, most people think this will be a faster method once it's worked out but basically most people just go around and phase all, all eight relics um, and then it will phase into the last last phase. Now the reason for this is that you need to get Solak down to 300k HP anyway uh, in order to go into phase 5 or in order to make phase 5 as easy as possible um, and therefore a lot of people at this stage still need to do quite a lot of DPS so that actually the, the sort of time based element of phasing all the relics isn't uh, a problem. So the key actual mechanics for this phase whilst you're standing in these um, things is just to cycle your defensives um, and then he will do sort of a almost like the root stun and run from phase 2 but except that you need to free them and then stun him. And what he, that does is it stops him sort of summoning the purple, I want to call it anima blight um, shadows or whatever they are, they're called from the middle. Uh, and they'll consistently ramp up so they hit sort of 250s to start with, then 500, then 750, etc, etc, until you stun him. Um, it's pretty obvious when this happens and you get used to the timing very quickly. Um, other than that, just cycle your resonance and then after he... After each of the relics is fully charged, he'll have a sort of little moment to himself uh, and sort of spam the ground or what have you. And you can just source a lot of your HP back because he doesn't attack either of you here. Um, I recommend surging away from the purple things as you, as you can see in the clip just there. Um, and then just surging to the next relic. Obviously you can cleanse where necessary if you do get hit by them. Um, then you do take some damage or if you tank. If you don't stun him uh, and freedom yourself... To, uh, that early then you also start to build your um, shadow realm blight that you might need to cleanse as well honestly this is as I said before one of the easiest phases there's nothing that's really punishing the other the other person should just be sitting in the middle and sunshining as much as possible dealing as much DPS the only thing to watch out for is after the special you can see here as he's sort of siphoning as well I guess I'm gonna call it um, he has a tendency to turn around and hit your um, melee, so you can see here Ash has melee prey on and is using devotion or what have you um, So just be careful that it doesn't turn around and hit your other DPS about a 5-6k because that is perfectly possible um, And then yeah as soon as he does that arm stomp attack run away from it and stun and stun him um, And yeah, you'll be good to go uh, Finish the phase on 300k and you'll be going into phase 5 See you guys in phase 5